Welcome to the Menopause Playbook Podcast. I'm your coach, Amelia Lady B. Get ready to enhance your internal conversations and create strategies to navigate life, menopause, faith, health, and mental well-being. Grab your playbooks, ladies. It's time to get in the game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Menopause Playbook. Like the first day of starting anything new, I want to introduce myself and what brings me here to these podcasting streets. My name is Amelia. I go by Amelia Lady B on social media. I started um, the platform Millennial and Menopause in 2018 on Instagram. And I started it just to talk about my experience with endometriosis and um, going into surgical menopause. I'll tell a little bit more about my story in episode two. So for the purpose of my welcome and introduction, first episode from Instagram, I did for maybe about a year and then I went into YouTube. And so I go between both. So I have videos on YouTube and of course, content on Instagram. But I decided that I kind of wanted to get into podcasting. I feel like with podcasting, people will be able to hear more of the coaching side of me. So like for Instagram, I share parts of my daily life, you know, like info posts, you do funny reels and um, like the carousel posts with information. Then you have YouTube is more information as well, a little bit more in depth, but it's also kind of like short content based because, you know, everyone's attention span nowadays is like 15 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever the case may be. Like they don't want to sit and watch long content or unless you have a heavy base of following or something, then you might be able to get away with an hour or so. But for the most part, maybe like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, things like that. So I have that platform and that's what that's for. But with podcasting, I feel like it's more conversational. Um, People come to podcasts to listen, to get inspired, to laugh, and to get coached. I mean, me personally, when I listen to podcasts, a lot of the people that I follow are, it, it, it is kind of like coach base or like empowerment in a way. Um, I listen to relationship podcasts, um, informational, like I said, like coachy style. And like, I'm pretty sure I'm like others as well, where when I'm listening to my podcast, I'm listening to it on my way to work. When I'm coming, when I get off of work, I listen to it at work. Um, I may listen to it, you know, while I'm exercising on a walk, on a treadmill, um, even like when I'm cooking or even when I go to the grocery store, I might have one ear pod in my ear listening to a podcast while I'm walking down the aisle, picking up my groceries. And I find that just kind of like with it in my ear, just listening. Um, sometimes it's music, but for the most part it's podcast. Like it calms me down. I can focus on that by listening while also getting my groceries. I don't know if it makes sense. Maybe I'm doing too much multitasking. I don't know. But I feel like podcasting is a way it, it's more like I said more conversational and it's a way to capture and capture a person's attention but also to get more out like I can really share a lot more valuable information than just YouTube and Instagram so that's pretty much why I have started the podcast that brings me to why the menopause playbook. So I named this the menopause playbook. Honestly, it was me and one of my best friends. I was sitting down in my room and 
I called her in and I was like, hey, I'm trying to think of a name. And so she had wrote down some names I did not like. And then I was writing down some names. And so they weren't just hitting the way they needed to hit. So I said, let's take a moment. We need to pray. So I prayed and uh, we were just throwing out some names and playbook came out. And I was like, oh my gosh, the menopause playbook. This is going to be so awesome. So recently, even when I was developing and getting episodes together, I was like, well, why the menopause playbook? Like, what is it about a playbook? And typically when you think of playbook, you think of American football. Like, that's the first thing that comes to your mind. That's the first thing that comes to most people's mind because that is like the number one sport here in America at least I think it is. I think Super Bowl football is like the number one thing. Anyhow, I'm thinking, I was thinking football and I was like, okay, they use a playbook. And then it dawned on me how many other sports use playbooks, but not just playbooks, but have strategies um, for their sports, right? So I think about I think about uh, baseball. Baseball has a strategy. I'm not sure that they have a playbook, but I'm pretty sure they do. But they have strategies. You know, you have to know who's going to play what position. You have to know who's going up to bat first, what that lineup is going to look like, and then for what team. Because it all depends on who starts, and that's with pretty much any sport, um, most sports rather, um, team-based sports, who's going to be the first line to or the first set of players on the field, right? So if you're playing a team that is like your all-time rival and they're like really strong in a certain area, you may put out your stronger players, If you play a team that you can probably beat with your eyes shut, you're going to play, you know, some of the, you know, second, the, you know, the not heavy hitters. You're not going to use your heavy hitters because you're going to need them for the next game. It's the same thing I thought about because um, I was in marching band for my entire four years of high school. And in marching band, we also have a playbook, okay? So I don't know about all marching bands, but I'm going to say with mine, we have, uh, we had a playbook. So our playbook really showed what we were going to do on the field, where we needed to stand, um, what we were going to do. So it showed our strategies for our field show. Not only did we have the field show strategy that shows us, you know, how we're going to march, when we're going to march, um, how many counts it takes to get to a certain step. But also our strategy was the music. So we had to prepare not only for the field show, but we also had to prepare for what we're going to play in the stands. So depending on who we were playing, so if it is our all time rival, okay, because trust and believe, If the rival is with the football players, the rival is also with the band. And so we had to, we learned certain, um, we learned certain music for certain games. We played certain music for certain games. Okay. So that was our strategic plan. And I believe Every sport has a strategic plan, even if it's an individual sport, like, for instance, like, um, like you're just kind of like relying on yourself, like gymnastics or something like that. There's still a strategy to what you do. It's always a strategy, just like with swimming. It's always a strategy. Track and field. It's definitely a strategy, especially for like the relay races, right? Who goes first, second, and third? You, it's always a strategy. So how does that play a role with menopause? A playbook, I believe that in life, we need to have a playbook. What does a menopause playbook look like though? 
It's a playbook that provides you with a strategy for how you navigate menopause, life, and every other aspect of your life. There needs, there's a strategy for your mindset. There's a strategy for how you are going to tackle your menopause symptoms and how you are going to navigate menopause in conjunction with your lifestyle. And so that is what the menopause playbook is all about. So if you heard from the introduction, we are going to be talking about menopause. We're going to be talking about the effects of menopause on our life. We're going to be talking about our health and our nutrition. We're going to be talking about mental well-being. And we're going to be talking about our faith. I remember when I first started Millennial and Menopause, I just kind of just shared my experience, just everything that I was going through at the time. I think at the time I had already been three years in to menopause. And so it was a whole lot that was happening, a whole lot that I was learning. And I just wanted to share that. And I realized how many people could relate to me. And I didn't think that I'd get, you know, a lot of, I really didn't think that there were that many women out there like myself. But lo and behold, it truly is. A lot of times when you think that you're alone, you're not alone. There is somebody else out there who is experiencing exactly what you're experiencing or something similar. Anyhow, I didn't share much about my faith. And it is probably because I kind of was still fighting God with this whole situation because it was quite a traumatic experience for me. But in these last couple of years, and it could be because I I have entered into my 40s, and so I'm kind of looking at life and everything different, and I'm really trying to dig deeper in my faith and building a strong relationship with Christ. It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's different and it's deeper. And so... Being in my 40s, nobody prepared me for this, just like nobody prepared me for menopause. But then again, I didn't go through menopause naturally, so I never expected to see myself here Um, so early. But anyhow, I wasn't necessarily prepared for my 40s. And so a lot of things changed and wavered in me. And so I was just all over the place. Even when it came to my social media, I kind of backed off from it. I was on it, but then not on it. I really wasn't consistent. And if you know anything about social media and business or whatever, you have to be consistent. If you're trying to get people, um, get clients, get anything, you have to be consistent. And it was just a struggle for me. But I realized the struggle was because I was coming into a new season of my life with this menopause. It was totally different, but also with just turning 40. um, I'm 42, but like between 40, 41 and now 42, it was just like, what in the world is happening to me? Like I, I, I'm I feel like I'm. It's like you're transitioning, but not sure where you're transitioning to, if that makes sense. So I realized or know that I have to share my journey, also my spiritual journey with Christ, my building stronger relationship with God. And that's what I would like to share and what I will be sharing. And I want to help others as well those who are looking to build their faith and how that impacts how does that impact your journey with menopause or any life changes through this podcast I want to help maybe answer questions or just help to guide you through your walk through menopause but also your faith walk as well. Thank you for listening to the Menopause Playbook. 
follow me on Instagram at Millennial and Menopause. Check out my website, millennialandmenopause.com. Until next time, ladies, be blessed, bold, and beautiful. Strategy for your mindset. There's a strategy for how you are going to tackle your menopause symptoms and how you are going to navigate menopause in conjunction with your lifestyle. And so that is what the menopause playbook is all about. So if you heard from the introduction, we are going to be talking about menopause. We're going to be talking about the effects of menopause on our life. We're going to be talking about our health and our nutrition. We're going to be talking about mental well-being. And we're going to be talking about our faith. I remember when I first started Millennial and Menopause, I just kind of just shared my experience. Just everything that I was going through at the time. I think at the time I had already been three years in to menopause. And so it was a whole lot that was happening, a whole lot that I was learning. And I just wanted to share that. And I realized how many people could relate to me. And I didn't think that I'd get, you know, a lot of, I really didn't think that there were that many women out there like myself. But lo and behold, it truly is. A lot of times when you think that you're alone, you're not alone. There is somebody else out there who is experiencing exactly what you're experiencing or something similar. Anyhow, I didn't share much about my faith. And it is probably because I kind of was still fighting God with this whole situation because it was quite a traumatic experience for me. But in these last couple of years, and it could be because I have, I have entered into my 40s. And so I'm kind of looking at life and everything different. And I'm really trying to dig deeper in my faith and building a strong relationship with Christ. It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's different and it's deeper. And so being in my 40s, nobody prepared me for this, just like nobody prepared me for menopause. But then again, I didn't go through menopause naturally, so I never expected to see myself here um, so early. But anyhow, I wasn't necessarily prepared for my 40s. And so a lot of things changed and wavered in me. And so I was just all over the place. Even when it came to my social media, I kind of backed off from it. I was on it, but then not on it. I really wasn't consistent. And if you know anything about social media and business or whatever, you have to be consistent. If you're trying to get people, um, get clients, get anything, you have to be consistent. And it was just a struggle for me. But I realized the struggle was because I was coming into a new season of my life with this menopause. It was totally different, but also with just turning 40, um, I'm 42, but like between 40, 41, and now 42, it was just like, ugh, what in the world is happening to me? Like, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm, it's like you're transitioning, but not sure where you're transitioning to, if that makes sense. So I realized or know that I have to share my journey also my spiritual journey with Christ my building stronger relationship with God and that's what I would like to share and what I will be sharing and I want to help others as well those who are looking to build their faith and how that impacts how does that impact your journey with menopause or any life changes through this podcast I want to help maybe answer questions or just help to guide you through your walk through menopause, but also your faith walk as well. Thank you for listening to the Menopause Playbook. 
follow me on Instagram at Millennial and Menopause. Check out my website, millennialandmenopause.com. Until next time, ladies, be blessed, bold, and beautiful.